Happy Sunday, everyone. I've got a beast hiding Hello. behind me. Always bright. Um, so this is a project that's been put off for a really long time. Um, we've generally speaking been focusing on the inside of the house, but we really, really need to sort out our garden because it is basically summer now and it's <laughs> overgrown. Starting to grow. Yeah, and I don't know, it's really difficult with the garden because I don't have experience with gardens and I'm also the sort of person who kind of loves things looking wild, like I'm looking at it now and I kind of think it looks pretty. But, um, mm, <laughs> I mean, the weeds aren't some, great, like but some bits, yeah. yeah, um, but we did buy some furniture for outdoors recently and, um, because of what's going on at the minute, we're all stuck at home. We're not going to be able to get our kitchen done for a while. And that's kind of why we put the garden off, but because we've got garden furniture, we ordered it recently because we wanted to be able to enjoy the sunshine while we're in lockdown. Um, we're just going to sort out our patio area and just sort of slowly do bits in the garden just to maintain a sort of tidiness out here and then obviously when we do the kitchen we're going to probably do a whole patio area and redo all of it but yeah today we're basically going to be power washing all of this patio and cleaning it all up with just a bit of oh. I have no idea, packaging or something in my pocket okay should yeah. we show you yeah so we have this patio area and we got all this furniture from Kettler. Yeah. Um, so we're going to move it all out, give it a big power wash, clean it all up, sort out the weeds, maybe give the hedge a bit of a trim. Yeah? Yes. And it's a beautiful sunny day for it, so. And we've got a little helper right here. But it's going to rain at like three yeah. o'clock so maybe. Yeah, like a little motivation. So we've got a bit of a rush. Limit, yeah. So <laughs> let's go. much better already I was really hesitant to like trim all the hanging bits of ivy because I kind of love the look of it because it looks so romantic but um, it really does make it more spacious and then when we have the sofa here it will feel much less like overgrown and like you've got a spider crawling down your neck if you kind of sat too close to the ivy so yeah so it's just a shame that over the years um, this wall has been uh, like held up by cement rather than people taking the time to properly take care of it because it's suffocating look at it but yeah all of this is so much clearer This is the patio all cleaned and look at the how much better the wall looks it's so great obviously when we do the kitchen we'll redo the whole patio because i don't like these tiles and they're completely like they're all wibbly wobbly but yeah. it's such a big transformation and now we can put the furniture there and it should look a lot better look how much better the wall looks right so that was a very long hard day but um it's gonna rain now, so 
Um, we're gonna finish this and then we'll kind of probably come back and do what's behind the camera next time. Alex is being a complete weirdo, so what's new? Come join me. Good morning, everyone. Um, it's the weekend and my dad has come down to help us clear out the garden. Um, we're socially distancing, of course, don't worry. But yeah, basically we need to sort out this mess here and this mess behind me because we've just let our garden grow without like keeping an eye on it at all because we've just been doing the inside. So it is weeds and brambles and lots of um, grass that's not been mowed. And we're just gonna like preliminarily clear it out because when we get our kitchen done, the area behind me here outside the house will become all like patio and they're likely to be using a skip and you know they'll be going in and out of the garden so I don't want to like perfect it yet or start doing anything crazy but we just want to kind of cut it back and make it neat and tidy so we can also get a shed we're gonna get a shed in the corner here behind this tree and then eventually when the kitchen starts to get done we can sort all of it out but um, I did speak to the builder yesterday and um, we can start kind of making steps towards getting our kitchen done because the rules in the UK are changing a little bit and um, we might be able to get our kitchen done in the next few months um, with like social distancing and we'll probably move out so the builders can just work without us because they have been working through lockdown because it is legal for builders to work so it would be a good time to just get it done and we move out and um, they just do everything and then we can come back and properly do our garden like properly plan it out but this is the first step of just kind of making it normal again because we just neglected it um, because we've just been focusing on the inside so yeah um, and it's also just that element of because I know that we're changing it eventually I've just not been bothered until the kitchen's done so I've not really had the motivation to care about the garden um, but when we eventually do it I know that I'm gonna I have a feeling I'm gonna get really into it so yeah have a look at this though we've got like a meadow behind our house that someone else owns I wish we owned it but it's so beautiful because they don't do anything with it they just own it look at this like how gorgeous how gorgeous anyway I think we're gonna get stuck in now right what do we need to do where'd the music go oh I paused it Now it's time to chop these brambles. So we've made loads of progress today just goes to show you what you can do in an afternoon and yeah thanks to my dad for helping he did so much and I feel like we needed someone here who knows what they're doing um, to just get us kick started so I'll just show you what we've done today so the biggest thing is this is all clear now which is amazing so we can just plant what we want here we were gonna we like change our minds we were gonna patio all of this when we do our kitchen and now we've got this bed we're just like Maybe we should just keep this and sacrifice the extra patio space because this has so much opportunity to plant lots of beautiful flowers and maybe some herbs and things like that. And I was thinking with this area we could put some potted plants and um, maybe like some a little shelf with some potted plants and stuff or something. And then over here we've strimmed all the grass because we just haven't bothered mowing the grass. And I spent ages just clearing lots of this area of the brambles and um, chopping back the hedge so loads and loads of progress and now we're gonna have to make a trip to the dump because we've got a huge pile of garden waste. I'm not sure how long this video is but I might end the video here and we'll continue the garden progress 
in the next video because yeah I don't know how long this video is but it's been yeah it's been really fun to do and um, I think the next thing we're going to do is continue clearing all those brambles Alex is going to continue strimming and then I think we need to make a trip to the garden centre to start planting some things in here uh, it's a bit shaded so I don't think it's going to be great for like vegetables but maybe there could be some um, but I just don't know enough about gardening yet so I'll ask my dad he, th he seemed to think maybe some herbs um, maybe there are some plants like maybe tomatoes or something I don't know that doesn't need a crazy amount of light but I just don't know these things um, so maybe you guys do you can let me know but yeah I'm really excited and I think that eventually so basically when we get the kitchen done ignore all the mess here this is all like rubbish and stuff eventually the idea basically is this will be squared off so that will be a bathroom there'll be French doors here a window there um, and then I think instead of we originally we were going to do like patio all the way around here so we could have our dining table over here but my dad was like this is very shaded do you really want your dining table there so I think we're just going to patio across to here because this is not very nice get rid of this patio because it's really horrible um, and then have the dining table at that end and then I think we could probably potentially fit the sofa here and then like the armchairs here um, but we just don't know until we may have bought too much furniture and if we have then we'll have to figure out somewhere over here that we can put our sofa and stuff but you never know my dad had a really great idea though that i think we're going to do relatively soon he suggested getting an arbor for here so like an archway basically that we can grow a rose on or something um just to sort of accentuate how cute this old wall is and just have sort of an archway through to the next area and something to kind of look out and he said at the end of it you know you can have some kind of view there's some like lovely plants or something at the end so that would be very cute but I just feel like I'm inspired now with the garden it's another area to feel inspired and excited about outside of the house so yay and um if we do any more strimming or bra de brambling tomorrow then I'll add that on the end of this video but yay for sorting out our garden finally <laughs>